Okay, it's Ken Carson time. New album, A Great Chaos. Ken, as you guys know, is one of my favorite rap artists out there right now. The best the Opium label has to offer. The future of music. Let's uh, give a handful of tracks a spin. Uh, but for now, let's hear this Ken Carson record. See what it's got. Shout out to Ken. Shout out to Cardi. Shout out to Opium and all the Cardi fans out there that are going to be up my ass after I listen to this record. Here we go. Where the fuck my black? Where the fuck my cut? Where the I'm smoking out cash. He sounds like a baby future. Is, is there actually an effect on the vocal or is there just so much like distortion compression that it makes the vocal sound like that? I mean, honestly, that was better than most of the Ken Carson I've ever heard in my entire life, even though you guys are like, that was terrible. That, you know, I've heard more Ken Carson than I think I would like to. And that was that was actually vastly better than a lot of a lot of what I've heard. Like the flows were actually on the beat, even though he did sound like kind of like a future ripoff. Singapore with Destroy Lonely. Spoke too soon. All right, everybody keeps saying Jennifer's body. Uh, <laughs> let's hear this one out. So, I mean, you keep talking about it. It has to be like amazing, right? This has to be the greatest song I've ever heard all night. This has to be the best song I've heard this evening since being mentioned this much in chat. This has to be the greatest highlight of this record for it to be getting shouted out this much in the chat. Let's see. Fuck. Do we pause? Okay. A nigga that be the gun and the bitch I need. If I don't die, ain't no way. Huh? I'm keep, I made a hundred side, baby. What, why were you guys asking for this? Like, as if this sounds vastly different or better than anything we've heard so far. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay, this is going kind of hard off the bat. I mean, the beat's carrying. I, I, I don't really know what to say other than that. Beats, beats carrying like fuck, man. And yeah, just the flows are really boring and unimaginative. You know, it's just basic. It's just painfully basic and boring and uninspired. I mean, I get... You know, the flexes, I get the threats, I get the attempt to, multiple attempts on the track to sort of seem, you know, harder than steel, tougher than nails, so on and so forth. But, I mean, there's people kind of making these very same claims on a myriad of different tracks, but doing it in a way that's actually clever and kind of memorable. And, and also with a vocal that you can pick out of a lineup as well. Like, this is just kind of, just run of the mill. Like the, the only thing that has this standing out against any other kind of trap song out there with a similar vibe is that, and you're saying old ears. I, I got fucking ears, man. It sounds like a lot of what's out there. The only thing that makes this sound different, the only thing that says to me, this is an opium track, this is a Ken Carson track, is that. It's compressed and mastered like shit so that everything sounds ultra distorted. I mean, to me, that's pretty much the only thing that separates opium artists from a lot of other artists out there that are just making trap. Like, it's it's just mixed like shit. <laughs> Which, like, I, you know, I, I, could, I could sort of see to an extent when you're talking about somebody like Cemetery, who, like, makes everything ultra distorted in a way. But the thing you know, is, it, it, even the appeal for that goes so far, you know? Um... 
you know, this just kind of seems like that, but to a lesser degree, and it's not even spooky. That's all right. Succubus. Another one chat's suggesting. This, this one's got to be good. This is getting so many suggestions. <laughs> the fucking distorted bass right off the bat. Hilarious. Are you guys in chat like con like on purpose like telling me to play like the most shittily distorted songs on the entire record? Yeah. Like I'm 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 trying I'm trying to see if like everyone in chat are you guys like actually fans of the record or are you like oh oh let's see how let's see what he thinks of this song. I have to know which one it is. Are you like, yeah, this is my favorite Ken Carson song. You got to listen to this one. It's a banger. Or are you just like, no, let's force Anthony to listen to the worst songs on the record. Like, I, cause, cause I think it's the latter. I think you guys are trying to torture me is, is what you're doing. I can't even make out the vocals. The thing was fucking mastered on a potato. <laughs> the engineer's production rig is a bag of baby carrots. What the fuck? Like, okay, night, nightcore. Is this actually going to be nightcore music? If it is, that would actually be hard. I suppose if I really squint my eyes and completely forget, you know, just just like wipe any memory of Nightcore and what Nightcore is from my memory, this is kind of like Nightcore. Like, I don't mind this vibe generally, but I feel like I would rather listen to some, like somebody like Sebi do this, you know, because I, I think he would actually come through with like some funny bars. Be like, you're a stupid bitch, you know, something like that. You know, it's like, everyone hates you. You know, some shit like that. I, I feel like uh, Sebi, Sebi would do something like that. Whereas this just kind of seems like, you know, a lesser version. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do one more. We'll do one more. Lose it. <laughs> I heard one split second of this. <laughs> I hate you guys. I hate you so much. You're like literally going through the album to find the worst songs and you're like, let's make him listen to it. I hate you so much. I hate you with all of my heart. Oh God, you're making me want to change it back to sub only mode. This sounds like farts. This sounds like fucking farts. The bass is just farts. No fucking way. This is more distorted than a fucking cemetery song. I take back what I said earlier. What? Yeah, okay, we're done.